principal means what the owner of the product the actual or the original producer of the product is called as principal on the base of pan even though he conducts business activity or transaction i can go with single registration because i am a single person single entity conducting business in different states then i have to get separate registration in each state hello my dear students i am rajesh sir faculty department of commerce and management vidyashram first grade college mysore temple of excellence my dear students in today's session i am going to handle the subject indirect tax 2 for 6th sem bcom and the topic is registration under gst my dear students in the previous session we were discussing on the different forms of registration and also what are the procedure and how if it is a no compulsory registration what are the procedure who has to do the compulsory registration these things we discussed in the previous session in this session i am going to discuss on casual taxable person who is a casual taxable person the person who is not having no no business entity or no separate place of business or usually do the business no not in a regular basis he will be not having no continuous business transaction so occasionally he will do business transaction casual casual taxable person it means a person who occasionally undertakes the transaction so he will not do transaction regularly the person who is a person means it may be business so person means person means business or any individual individual or organization so like a person means it may be individual person or it may be business entity so anything can be considered as a person so if a business which is not doing regular activity that also comes under casual taxable person and if the business is not service or both so if it may be providing service or goods anything that's also comes under you no know, casual taxable person next one in course of furtherance of business in course of means in course of development of business or doing the business whether as a principal agent or in any other capacity principal means what the owner of the product so actual or the original producer of the product is called as principal so agent means he may be a middleman he may be middleman or it may be any other you no know, wholesaler or a retailer business doing next one in state or union territory where he has no fixed place of business so here under casual taxable person he will be not having any fixed place or fixed address so he will do business so for example in karnataka he will do for 3 months or 2 months business in karnataka again he will go to the tamil nadu after that he will go to he may go to the any other states different states here so he will not do regular business and also he will be not having no fixed place he will not be having fixed place or fixed head office so he will do business some days in one state another few days in other states he will do the business and also he will not give the regular business that's why called as casual person next one casual taxable person will have a permanent account number so he will be having a pan number on the base of pan even though he conducts business activity or transaction other states not only in single states on the base of permanent account number so we can calculate what is his transaction at the end of the year so on the base of transaction we can levy the tax so he has to file an application for the registration in gst registration 1 so gst registration form number 1 he has to file with a permanent account number pan number so he has to file a registration under gst r 1 he has to file a normal return so he need not any special return form he has to file only normal return so he can claim itc so on the base of pan so he has to get registered and also he can get the input tax credit so what do you mean input tax credit whatever the credit or whatever the amount he spent or whatever the tax he has spent on the input while producing the product or delivering the service so for that amount he can claim the you no know, input tax or he can credit he can credit or he can deduct the 
input tax whatever he purchase of products or raw materials he can deduct that input tax while selling the product remaining tax he can payable of all inward supply so he can claim the input tax rate. next one general rules for registration in gst what are the general rules so it is applicable to all person irrespective of their transaction irrespective of state or irrespective of their type of business so these are there are some general rules we follow so let's see what are those first one igst law cgst law that means central gst law next one sgst say state gst law next one union territory law next one gst compensation law that means itc and all comes under gst compensation all together needs one registration so we don't have any different registration process of registration if you done one registration is enough for igst integrated gst for cgst central gst for sgst state gst union territory gst including all these things if you once you register even though you do business in other parts of the country other states of the country so you can comes under one registration you will be considered as a one person one person next one no centralization registration so there is no centralization registration in any you no know, part of the country you can go and register yourself as a business next one branches of the same entity not having different business varieties within the same state shall continue same person or constitute same person shall not require separate registration what do you mean by that see branches of same state for example in karnataka i am a person see textile business i am doing in karnataka what is my business textile textile business okay next one even though i'm in some different branches so in mysore i have one branch bangalore gulbarga and other parts of the state so that's why the branches of same entity so what is the i'm a textile business in karnataka i'm doing so registered as a textile business in karnataka but i'm having so many branches within karnataka only in, in gulbarga also i have one branch in belagavi i have one branch you know mysore bangalore mangalore mandya i have different branches within the same state shall constitute same person so i can go with single registration i can go with single registration because i am a single person single entity single business entity so my business is textile business i am doing textile business all over the karnataka with different branches within karnataka then it is it constitute a single person so no need to have separate registration for every different branches next one separate registration for each branches located in different states need separate registration whether same varieties of or different variety for example i am a businessman conducting business in tamil nadu also and in karnataka also so for example textile business i am doing again textile business okay in karnataka also i am doing karnataka in tamil nadu in andhra pradesh in kerala okay in kerala i am doing the business since i am doing separate in separate state i have to do separate registration even though you i am conducting the same variant of variety of business or different variety of business since i am you no know, doing the different state a uh, state i am conducting the business in different state and also i am having branches in different states for example head office in karnataka but branch office in other states then i have to get separate registration for each branch i have to get separate registration for each branch so each each branch will be considered as a separate person each branch will be considered as a separate person you may ask sir you here you have given the sgst cgst and igst law is single no we need single registration why because even though i am having head office in karnataka if i no transfer goods or if i sell the goods within karnataka i have to pay cgst and sgst isn't it so then single registration is enough even though if i am selling goods from karnataka to no other state or other country yes i am doing business in from karnataka only so single registration is enough 
Even I am selling goods to other union territory. So that comes under union territory law. So single registration is enough. But I am having different head office or you know, different branches in different states conducting business in different states. Then I have to get separate registration in each state. Next one, separate registration for different branches, business varieties in a same state. What do you mean by that? See here, again I am doing textile business here. And also next one, finance business. In Karnataka only, in Mysore I have textile business. In Bangalore I have financial business, some banking business I am having. Next one, in you know, Gulbarga I am having some you know, industry, production, production of no production of sugar industry. I'm having here sugar industry in Gulbarga, financial company in the or any mutual company, mutual fund company in the Bangalore. Next one in Mysore, I'm having textile branches. So I'm having different types of or different variety of you no know, business. In a, even though in a, in a same state, since I'm having different variety of business, so different variety, each different variety of business will be considered as a separate person. Each different business variety will be considered as a separate person so i have to get separate registration for each separate business because one registration for textile business so textile business will be considered as a separate business finance business will be considered as a separate business or separate person and also sugar production unit will be considered as a separate business unit and separate person. So even though it is the same state since I am having in a same state having different branches of a state same for example this will be having different branches in Mysore, Mangalore and Karnataka same person. Here also different branches. Here also different branches. So separate separate person. So even though the branch will be considered as a same person here. The branch here for finance business branches will be considered within Karnataka. If it is outside Karnataka then I have to get the different registration. Person exempted from the registration. So who are all the person exempt from the registration? Let's see. First one, the following person shall not liable for registration under GST. What are those? First one, person exclusively engage in the supply which are not taxable under this act. If a person doing business, so those business or those product which are which does not comes under taxable or which is not taxable business, then can be exempted as a for example agriculture is not taxable and also for example the export is zero related tax so those you no know, comes under person exclusively engage in the supply of goods which are not taxable so if the goods are not taxable for example milk is not taxable okay and also other products agricultural products are also not taxable so if these if you are doing business with these goods then it is a zero percent tax then you know need not to register next one Person exclusively engage in the supply of wholly exempted goods or services or both. So wholly exempted means you know ex export is wholly exempted. Any other goods sending goods or selling goods are wholly exempted. That also not you no know, required to register. Next one agriculture to the extent of supply of produce out of the farming. So if you are selling goods or if you are you no know, transporting goods or selling goods or you no know, transferring goods from which is grown in our own land so which is grown in our own land then also it is not no need to register next one specified category person the government may recommend by notification if the government provides any notification not to register with a special act then only no need to register under gst act next one procedure for registration what are the procedure for registration let's see here so every person whose aggregate turnover exceeds 20 lakh so if your aggregate turnover aggregate means even though you are having different branches so whole total turnover of all the branches including head office if it excludes more 20 lakh then you have to register yourself under the gst act Next one, in case of 10 lakh in space in a special states, 10 lakh rupees is liable to register under themselves. Next one, application to be made within 30 days in every state, even territory in which such person is liable for registration. So if you are, if you comes under compulsory registration, then you have to make within 30 days of the notification, you have to register yourself or you have to apply to the state authority. Next one. One registration per state. So for every one registration and one type of business. For example, 
car selling business i am doing car selling business in karnataka so i have to get separate registration Ka same car selling business in tamil nadu i should get separate registration same car selling business in andhra pradesh i should get separate registration next one so person having multiple business in same state for example i have car selling business financial business and also some other other production business so multiple business in same state also i should get registered next one separate registration for each business variant can be granted next one voluntary registration all provisions of registration applicable so if it is voluntary registration for that also all provisions whatever the provision rules are there we have to follow the person having more than one registration such registration to be treated as a distinct person so if we, if we are having more than one registration each registration will be considered as a separate person distinct person means what so you are not related to for example textile business finance business car production business separate no separate registration and the owner is same but he is having different no business units which is connecting different types of business then will be considered as separate person each will be considered as a separate person under gst next one pan mandatory for every registration so we need permanent account number is mandatory for all registration so will be having unique number under pan next one a non resident taxable person may be granted registration on the basis of such other documents as may be prescribed so if he is a non resident person so he cannot produce that you no know, pan then the government of tax authority will consider other types of documents for the purpose of registration next one non resident taxable person may be granted registration on the basis of such other documents as may be so for next one unique identity card be granted to the specialized agency for example your rendering service or producing products on the for uno consultate or other country or embassy of other country foreign country so if you comes under you no know, uno or wto like that so then you will be given a separate unique number for to connect the business next one the registration certificate will be given on the base of unique identity card we will provide the unique identity number on the base of registration certificate granted will be rejected after due verification within 3 working days so the whatever the certificate we have got for the special purpose so after the special purpose is over then the unique identity number and also certificate will be rejected after due verification within 3 working days a registration certificate to be issued in a prescribed form a so in a prescribed form the unique or the certificate registration certificate will be issued next one so registration certificate or unique identity number not generated within the prescribed period deemed to be granted so whatever the 3 working days is there so within 3 working days if you did not get the unique identity number and certificate then deemed to means it is assumed to be generated so you can do the business you can consider as yourself as a registered so in the next session we will discuss on the verification and approval next one issue of registration certificate next one sumoto registration and also display of registration certificate rule number 18 these things we'll discuss in the next session till then thank you so much let's meet in the next session